and welcome to today's session of the class. Today we'll be looking at organic chemistry. That's what you have here. Let's take a look at organic chemistry. What are organic compounds? Or we can as well say, what is organic chemistry? A simple definition we say that organic chemistry is the study of carbon compounds. Note this. Organic chemistry is simply defined as the study of carbon compounds. Now, it is important to note that there are several thousands of compounds of carbon. That is compounds that contain carbon. There are thousands of them. We can talk about CO2. This is a carbon compound. CO is a carbon compound. Cashew carbonate is a carbon compound. Methane is a carbon compound. Methanol is a carbon compound. All these compounds contain carbon. Therefore, they are all called carbon compounds. But in organic, in organic chemistry, it is not all the compounds of carbon that we study. So, you should be able to know the compounds of carbon that are studied under organic chemistry and those which are not included in organic chemistry study. So, let's take a look at those compounds of carbon that are not included in the study of organic chemistry. Note this. Organic chemistry, which we define as the study of carbon compounds, does not include the following compounds of carbon. Every other compound of carbon is included in the study of organic chemistry except the following compounds of carbon. Carbon 4 oxide is not included in the study of organic chemistry. Carbon monoxide is not included. The carbonates are not included. When we say the carbonates, there are many of them, like calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, all the carbonates are not included in the study of organic chemistry. Though they contain carbon, but they are not included in the study. The other compounds of carbon that are not included are, we have the bicarbonates, the bicarbonates are not included as well, like sodium bicarbonate. This is a bicarbonate. Why this is a carbonate? This is calcium carbonate. This is sodium bicarbonate. So they are not included. Also, we don't include cyanides, like potassium cyanide and so many other cyanides. So cyanides are not included, though they are compounds of carbon. They are not included in the study of organic chemistry. Also, we do not include the cyanates. We don't include cyanates like potassium cyanate. This is a cyanate. Why this is a cyanide? Cyanide, cyanate. We don't include them in the study of organic chemistry, though they contain carbon. The second to the last we don't include here are the sulfides. We don't include sulfides. We don't include carbides. So these are the compounds of carbon which are not included in the study of organic chemistry. Whereas majority of other compounds of carbon are included. Okay. Now it is important to note that before the recent development in chemistry, organic compounds were not being synthesized from inorganic material until the year 1828, when the German scientist named Friedrich Wohler came up with the first organic compound to be synthesized using inorganic substance. Remember this. Before the year 1828, 
organic compounds were not being produced from inorganic materials. Rather, they, are being, they were being produced from organic substances. It was in the year 1828, this German scientist named Friedrich Wuller. He was the first scientist to produce an organic substance using inorganic reactants. And the organic substance he used, he produced using inorganic material is urea. Why the inorganic material he used as the reactant is cyanate. So he reacted ammonium cyanate. That is, after heating ammonium cyanate, he produced urea. That is CO and H2. This is urea. And the structure of urea is like this. This is what you call urea. This was the first organic compound to be produced using an inorganic material. Remember, the inorganic material that was used is ammonium cyanate. On heating ammonium cyanate, urea was formed. And this was done in the year 1828 by Friedrich Wohler. Ever then, so many other organic compounds can now be produced using inorganic materials. In the next video, we'll be looking at classifications of organic compounds. Thank you for watching and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.